So, hello everyone. A single cigarette reduces your life by 11 minutes. And this is one of the biggest lies that you have ever been told. Let me tell you how. So a friend of mine used to smoke a lot. And when I told him this fact, he came up with a very interesting story. He told me about his uncle, Uncle Gami, who lived to the age of 97 and smoked the worst quality tobacco available because it was cheap and somehow he found it enjoyable. Year after year, the whole family anticipated for a phone call that Uncle Gami has finally died. But surprisingly, he, uh, he celebrated his birthday after birthday and outlived all the facts and critics. However, last year I was a bit sad when I got the news that Uncle Gami had finally passed away at the age of 98. I was sad because he could have lived for a whole century and put the final nail in the coffin of this popular fact that a single cigarette reduces your life by 11 minutes. And if he wasn't a smoker, he could have lived to an age of around 200 years and he could have been a Guinness World Record holder. <laughs> so, having said that, not everyone is as lucky as Uncle Gani. Smoking is a real problem and you cannot dodge death year after year. Smoking has many invisible and visible side effects and in many cases, it can act, uh, it can act as a silent killer. One of the silent killers that is associated with smoking is called chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. According to the stats by World Health Organization, 60 million people suffer from this condition worldwide. According to some of the researches, 60 million people in the MENA region are under risk. And 250 deaths occur every hour due to this condition worldwide. So, Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is a disease that affects your lungs. It affects your airways and makes it difficult for the person to breathe. The already existing devices does not provide you a cheap solution and are mostly inaccessible. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Myra Khalid, a 22 years old electrical engineer from Pakistan. And I'm here with a very interesting device that provides a complete overview of your lungs health with just one waveform of your breath and I like to call it Preta T, that is a device for early evaluation of the pulmonary diseases. I often like to call it as an A-cube solution because it's affordable, it's authentic, and it can be adapted in all the conditions. So talking about the COPD, you don't have to be a smoker to get COPD. Even the secondhand smoke can be a trigger. That means you, me, and everyone in the audience can be a victim of COPD without even knowing it. So the already existing solutions that we have in market uh, to detect this condition are called spirometers. And a one a spirometer that is digital and advanced that is available right now commercially is around 2,000 US dollars. That is the main reason that people don't possess this simple yet uh, uh, life-saving device at their homes just as we have blood glucose meters in our homes. And if you are thinking that a standard lab test would be cheaper, then you are surely mistaken. Because according to the Healthcare Blue Book, a standard um, lab test of spirometry costs around $45. So um, according, uh, after studying all of these stats, me along with my team of Hamad Mahmoud Chima, Essen Shafiq, and Rabia Amir, decided to design our own prototype that uh, detected the lungs health. So our journey started with the literature review and then we had certain schematics and then we developed the hardware after considering many designs. And after working for an year and a half, we were able to develop the final uh, printed circuit board that you can see over here. The next step was the development of the software. This is a customized desktop application that we developed uh, for this prototype. And this provides all the parameters which you can interpret and understand so that you know what's going on in your lungs, even if you are not related to the medical field. So the next step was the mass testing of the results. Uh, for, so for this purpose, we um, took the results of different people from uh, the standard spirometers that were available in the market and we compared the results to the results that we got uh, of the Breathe Out Deep device. And the results were found to be 94% accurate. 
So the uh, device costs around 20 US dollars, the standard prototype that we have right now. So for the future pros uh, prospects, I see this device as, uh, I see this prototype as a finished device for the doctors so that can, they can be used um, at the point of care for the patients and for the health conscious people like me who always want to know that what's going on in their lungs and how is it going. So in today's world where pollution is affecting every one of us, we need to work hard and we need to use technology efficiently and effectively to save lives. Um, having said that, in MENA region, every one of us is working really hard. Although there is a lot of turmoil, but we, the youth of the MENA region, is working really hard to fulfill the gap and to work for peace, science and technology. Uh, in the end, I would like to say that today I am very proud to be here. And the reason of my pride is not that I am an electrical engineer or I worked for this prototype. The reason is that I'm here, I am uh, representing the prosperous face of Pakistan where thousands of female uh, of engineers are working tirelessly for the cause of science and technology. And in the end, I would like to say instead of um, saying that we don't have enough resources to generate geniuses, why don't we use our own geniuses to produce enough resources so that we can use our uh, resources resources in a manner uh, in a, a useful manner so yes um, thank you very much for listening to me uh, we are still in the development phases so your feedback is welcome and I would love if you could help us in spreading the message of the importance of lungs health thank you very much